and welcome to day two of the 30 day challenges. So if you're new and you're just joining, first let me say welcome to the 30 day challenge. We're going to rock out December and bring in the new year working out together, right? So let's finish this year up strong. We are doing two different challenges. The first one is an arm challenge. The second one is a butt and gut challenge. So I want to say that I want you to do the best you can. And also, my name is Shivy Williams, and I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the butt and gut challenge. Every other day is, um, not every other day, but we're doing four different exercises. We're doing two one day and we're doing two the other. So the two exercises we did yesterday, we will do those again tomorrow. Today we're doing something different, right? So today I will give you the alternatives for the butt and gut for those exercises. Let's go ahead and get started with today's exercises. So first we're doing the arm challenge. You can have weights if you want or you can do no weights at all. I'm gonna grab um, some weights here. These are just two pound weights. So just to show you, probably can't see them well, that's two pounds. So I'm not doing heavy weight at all, plus my shoulders still kind of messed up from last month. So the first thing we're doing, we're doing 11 arm circles. So stick your arms out, weights or no weights. Instead of weights, you can use water bottles or you can use cans if you have cans. So let's get started. The abs are tight, knees are bent slightly. And I'm gonna go forward, let's go. One, this is two, three, four. You'll notice I'm not going fast, six, Seven. We want to work the muscle. Eight. Nine. Make sure you're breathing. Ten. Eleven. Great job, everyone. Now it's going to be time for us to do our arm raises. So uh, palms are out, weights or no weights. We're doing 11 of these as well. We're going up and down. Up. That's one. Then we're going back down. Let's step back. Up, that's two. Make sure you're breathing as you go up. Abs are tight. Let's go four. You should feel these in your shoulders. And down. I think that's five. Make sure you're standing up straight. No arching your back. No bending over. This is six. I actually feel this. This is seven. Let's keep going. If the weight ever get too heavy, just put them down and finish. That's nine. Again, we're not in a rush. This is 10. Great job. One more. 11. Woo, my shoulders are burning. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. And now I'm going to do the chest press pulse. So again, you want to um, bring your elbows like this. I have to squat down like this. And we're doing like this with our elbows. My hands are together. Okay. So we're doing 11 of these. So let's get started. Go. One, two. Abs are still tight. Three. Breathe out when you come in. That's five. You should feel this in your chest. Seven. Stand up straight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Great job, everyone. Let's go ahead and get started with our 30-second plank. Um, you can do these in different positions. You can use a chair. You can um, be on your knees out. Do a few different ones in this 30 seconds so that you know which ones to use. Always make sure your shoulder and elbow and wrist are aligned if you're doing this on your hands, okay, which is my favorite position. So let's get started. We got 30 seconds. So get in the position you want to be in. 
If you're gonna do it um, on your knees, this is the position, squeeze your butt, okay? My shoulder, move back my shoulder, um, elbow and wrist are aligned. If you're doing it on your hands, you're just gonna come here. If you're doing it on your elbows, you're gonna come down here, okay? Don't arch your back at all. So let's go ahead and get started again. My favorite position, which is here, and set the timer. Let's go. So, again, you can do here. Don't arch your back like that. Abs are tight. Pull your um, hips up just a little bit. Your um, quads automatically will activate. Okay? Don't arch your back at the top. I tend to do that. Breathe. Keep your abs tight. If you're on your knees, same position here. And on your elbows is here. And we're done. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and move on to the butt and gut challenge. So today we are doing lunges. So there's different ways you can do the lunges. I like to do um, like pulse lunges. And you can do um, walking lunges. You can do stationary lunges. The lunges are up to you. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways. We're doing 10 of them today. So one of the things you can do, like I said, is you can do a stationary lunge, which is this, and come back up, and then you switch legs, okay? You can do that. If your knees bother you, please don't go down really low. Just go as low as you can, maybe here, and step back up. So you want to make sure your abs are tight, back leg, so you're, you should be on the toe with your back leg and falling over. Be on your toe, oh my balance, be on your toe, okay, and then when you come back up, make sure you're squeezing, okay, abs are tight, everything is tight. Walking lunge is this, okay, and then your stationary lunge is where you just take your leg out and the pulse, and you're just going to do this. Now, when I come up, I'm squeezing my legs and my butt, right? So I should squeeze going up. So those are our, our different lunges you can do. Again, make sure if you have bad knees, you're not going down very far. Now, I always want you to do these as many as you can and take a break if you need to. So we're doing 10 on each leg. I'm doing the pulses. And I like to just keep my hands up. You can have your hands rested. My back is straight. I'm not arched over, straight up. Let's go for 10, down, up, one. Breathe out when you come up, two, and three, and squeeze, and five. Oh, my balance, and six, seven. Make sure your knee does not go over your toe. Nine, and ten. Other leg, and that's for either one. If you're walking, if you're doing stationary lunge, if you're doing these pulses, make sure your knees never go over your toes. Let's go, down, up, one. Down, up, two. Make sure you're squeezing. Three, as you come up. Four. And five. Breathe out. And seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Great job, everyone. We are now done with day two of the challenge. So, make sure you find me on social media, at, uh, on Facebook at Chevy Williams. You can find me on Instagram at LBX Fitness, one word. Twitter and Pinterest, LBX Fitness, two words. I'm so excited because my book was published and is now out for sale. So make sure you pick that up. You can pick it up on Amazon, um, or you can visit my website, at www.leadingbyexample.us if you want me to send you a personalized 
autographed copy of my book. So everyone, I will see you tomorrow for day three. Bye. Keep pushing on.